Hello, Douglas County. It's Thursday, December 2nd, 2021, and I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Hey, thanks for having me today. Well, Dr. Meemark, as always, we're here to talk about COVID and its impact on the community in Douglas County. Where are we with the numbers in Douglas County and what can you tell us about hospitalizations? Yeah, so um, I've been really pleased with how um, numbers have been looking in Douglas County. Um, yesterday, I think we were um, down to about 113 cases per 100,000, and today we're down to 117 cases per 100,000. So staying a, very stable, um, but they're still in the high transmission category. Remember, if we go below 100, we're, um, we're below that for the two weeks. So cases have come down, but they've kind of reached this plateau that's a uh, still kind of a, it's better than it's been, but still considered high transmission. So we need to watch out for that. Um, previously, we had the percent positive tests that were coming back. We had reached like the 2% um, numbers around then a few weeks ago, and it's come up to 4%. So we're at 4.1%, and we're just watching that very carefully as well. Um, you know, with everything happening with the new variant and everything I know we're gonna talk about, we just wanna make sure we're keeping a close eye. Um, Douglas hospitalizations for COVID-19 are remaining stable at this time, um, but it, it's still very crowded, the hospital. So hospital is um, currently um, in a severe um, uh, mode for hospitalizations at this time. What about vaccinations? What are the numbers for Douglas County residents who are vaccinated and what are we seeing nationally? Yeah, so nationally, let's start off with that. So for first dose vaccinations, we were up to 70% that have been um, vaccinated. For um, a full um, series, they're at 50%. Now, what we're seeing in Douglas County is a little lower than that. We're having for those that received the first vaccination, we're about 50% and 45% for fully vaccinated. So it's very important that um, during this time, especially with the new variant, that um, we go ahead and, and get ourselves vaccinated and the CDC released this week because of the Omicron variant that we should go ahead and get a booster shot if you're over 18. Please don't forget that five through 11 year olds can get the Pfizer vaccine as well. And it's only one third of the adult um, dose and uh, the children have done very, very well when getting this vaccine. So it's very important to know what you have. You can also mix and match your booster sh shot. So if you got Pfizer before and you want Moderna, you can get that this time or vice versa. So Dr. Meemark, the Omicron variant <laughs> is all over the news. What can you tell us about it? Yeah, so this has been just happening rapidly. So on November 26th, it was right after Thanksgiving when all of us were enjoying probably our families and, and Thanksgiving leftovers, we found out about the Omicron variant. The World Health Organization on that day uh, announced that it was a variant of concern. So you might know, for those of you that have been tracking this, that sometimes when we have new variants, sometimes they're called variants of interest, and we're just keeping an eye on it. When it rises to the level of a variant of concern, there is a significant um, characteristics to the, the variant that makes us a little concerned that it could cause some trouble. Now, the, the South Africans were the ones that first identified um, the Omicron variant. Now, why is this of concern and, and it's got worldwide attention at this point? Well, you know how these mutations work, right? And so some of the mutations can, can cause all different kinds of things. And so the Omicron variant has 50 mutations on it. And 30 of those happen to be around the um, transmissibility kind of center as well as the immune um, uh, center for the virus. And so that's why it's so concerning. So the big questions are, is it more transmissible or how is our vaccines gonna do um, against the Omicron? So that's why it was such a concern. So I think that um, right now the governments are kind of, you know, they've locked down things a little Bit to buy some time to until we get some of these answers. I can't tell you about um, the answers to a lot of these questions. We don't know if it's more transmissible. We don't know if it's a more severe illness. We don't know how our vaccines will do against it. And so these are some very, very important questions that are being studied by scientists right now to, to see what, you know, what it would really mean for us. Um, one of, another big question is, is it, is it, powerful enough to overtake the Delta um, 
uh, variant. And so um, these are the questions that need to be answered. What we do know is there are over 20 um, countries that have already identified Omicron in their um, countries. We have two identified cases already in the United States. And so California has a case and Minnesota has a case. Um, from what I'm reading on that, um, both of them were vaccinated, had not received the booster vaccine, um, but they look like they were mild cases as well. So it's just kind of another reason that we should make sure that we go ahead and get your vaccines and boosters at this time um, because we hope like all the other variants that the vaccine will at least prevent severe illness and death and that's really ultimately what you um, want to prevent in, in the end for this. Tell me Dr. Mimar, Cobb and Douglas Public Health is currently offering the Pfizer adult and pediatric, Moderna and Johnson and Johnson vaccines and boosters. What do we need to know? Well, what you need to know right now is, so if you have received, let's go ahead and talk about um, Pfizer and Moderna together. If you got that, that two dose or three dose series, if you were immune compromised, um, after six months, after the second or third dose, you can get your booster dosed, okay? And so anybody 18 or over, doesn't matter what your medical conditions are, you should go ahead and get the booster. You can choose, you know, Moderna or Pfizer, or I guess even Johnson & Johnson if you really want it. If you receive the Johnson & Johnson vaccine, two months after that vaccine, you will get a booster. Any booster that you want, you can get. So our center will offer all three to you. Children um, can go all the way down to five now and get the Pfizer vaccine. And so, and I had told you before, the studies are looking very, very good for that. Um, children are doing well and they're not having that, um, that rare uh, side effect of the um, inflammation of the heart. They didn't see that when they um, had the studies for these children. So very, very good outcomes. Um, on December 11th, we do have a Saturday event. I know um, it's sometimes it's hard when people are working or in school to get the vaccine. So you can come out to the health center from nine to one and get your vaccine at that time. And children who are in school can come at that time and get it as well. That is great news. Is there anything else, Dr. Meemark, you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Yeah, so I know there's, you know, there's a lot of volatility right now. Um, you know, everybody is trying to figure out about the Omicron um, variant, and I know some people have some anxiety about it. Uh, you know, what I would suggest to you is we know it works against this, right? We know that, you know, if you wear your mask, now, avoid large crowds and wash your hands, stay home when you're sick. These are all things that are going to help. Um, I also, you know, want to make sure everybody knows that your immunity goes down four to six months after receiving your vaccine. So it's time to booster up. All right. We still have Delta. You know, um, Douglas County is, it has, you know, 117 cases per 100,000, but Cobb County is 170s per 100,000. We, we have a lot of transmission still happening of COVID and we're just adding Omicron on top of it. So all the things that we know that work, we need to continue to do. So make sure you just keep yourselves safe. Get your vaccines, get your flu vaccine, because we don't need that on top of everything else. And, you know, go ahead and get your boosters. Dr. Mirak, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to join us and help inform our citizens. For Dr. Janet Mirak of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, I'm Rick Martin for the Douglas County Board of Commissioners, thank you for joining us. Have a good day.